Bryce here, uh, and I have the Chinese version of the Memory Thief in my hand. A lot of you were asking to see what it looked like on the inside, so I thought I would show you. Um, and it, I figured it'd be better to do it like this than with pictures. So let's see what we got. So there's the beautiful cover. Um, I really like. The, I don't know if you can see this, but the inside page is kind of shiny. That's what unicorn best time. You were gonna have the best time with this book. Um, it's got cover flaps on both sides. You can see some of the embossing that's there backwards in the title. Um, on the back, we've got my picture in front of Trenchin Castle, way back when, when I was glasses free. Uh, the book itself, bunch of Chinese. I can't read it, um, but at the beginning of the book, They've got illustrations. It's where Benji is uh, talking to the police officer and Lewis is there talking to him at the same time. Here's the inside of Lewis's tent, I'm assuming. I think that's pretty awesome. Um, and we've got the fair later on with Genevieve. I liked that they even got, the, got her tattoos there. I don't know what those... I don't know what it says everywhere. It's a very permanent looking fair, but I think it's cool how they've uh, translated it into what they think it would look like. Here is one of the memory libraries he ends up in. I think that's that's one of the whispers, which I think is pretty awesome. Really, I just, I'm so excited with all of these pictures. I think they did a great job. This is the sh shark scene memory. Benji and Kelly up there with his parents fighting, looking very unhappy. And the last one is him and Genevieve at the end there with the uh, glowing memories. So that is the book. Um, here's hoping that it translates well. I'm always curious to see what it, how it turns out because I had no process with uh, any of the translation and. Any of this has just sort of appeared magically. I think it's fantastic, and thanks for watching.